Wow. Dope. Them lo fi beats. Sick. Thanks, Charman Dem. Charman Dem. It's a funny name. <laughs> Is it Charman Dem? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Is it really? Yeah. It's the evolution of oh, uh, right. Charmander if you mix him with yeah. a street upbringing. I typed it wrong. You typed actually, you actually typed Charmander, which I, Mandem I prefer. Charmander. I like that. Thank you very much, Charmander, for your chill lo fi beat. Once again, my email inbox um, failed me a little bit. Oh. Because I missed that one. Oh, well, that's good that we managed to find it. Cause that's but now I've found this crazy new feature in emails where you can, you can filter by unread. <laughs> <laughs> Mind blowing. I normally just type in Fingal because that's what they got to type in. Fingal. Yeah, your, but that's sometimes subject. they don't put that in their subject. Well, so. this is what you got to do if you're going to send a Fingal. Yeah. Put Fingal in the in the subject header and just hat chat at hat dash films dot com. That's right. What Ross. a mouthful. Anyway, Once again, interest. hat chat at hat dash films dot com. But before we get started, I'm Chris Trot. Oh, hi, Chris Trot. I'm Ross Hornby. <laughs> no, you're not. I am. No, I am. No, you're not. You're, you're Dan. I'm not Dan. That's your dog. That's. I did call my dog Dan for a period of time. I'm Alex Smith. Oh, you did. Thought yeah. it was quite funny. Yeah. And he started to respond to it. He, he will respond to it now. Now, even now, if Dan. Dan. Do you think maybe he wants to be called him. Dan more? Why well, do you know. think you should give your dog a name <laughs> preference? I feel like Dan is a is a is a very pedest- pedestrian human name, mm. and calling a dog it was h- hilarious to me <laughs> in certain states. What if I got a dog and just called it one of your two names? Would you would you have would you like would you go would with you Chris compete? or would you go with Trot? Probably Trot, probably Trot, because a bit more like doggy isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> I mean like Chris is just like yeah, it doesn't excite me. I think Ross is a, a more like. Like for a dog, you know, like Chris is a perfectly fine name, by the way. It's not like it's, it's just it like it doesn't excite you, though. No, like I wouldn't probably call my dog Ben or like, you know, ben, like Ben's quite a common dog name. Benji or Ben Benji Benson. An organ. Ben I know a Benson. Yeah. May he rest in peace. He died. Oh, he what? Died. Dogs die. Which Benson? Uh, my friend's family dog from a long time ago. Wait, what was what was <clears throat> Bradley's dog called? Oh, what is Bradley's dog called? I Benson. thought it was called Benson, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh. No, Bentley. 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 Right, 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 Bentley. right. Bentley. Bentley's Bentley. fine. I saw him recently. Yeah, I know. He's, he's all over Instagram. Yeah. Is he on Instagram? Nice. He's he is. Fine. And he can't walk over, like, specific types of floors. He has a kind of shuffle to the side. It's very cute. <laughs> um, he must day, be getting we'll, on we'll, a bit now, Bentley. Must be yeah. now, yeah. <clears throat> That's, you know. How long do those dogs live? Like, probably like 12, 12 15. Yeah. Not long. Beagles can live 16. Really? Do you do, yeah? A good breed. It's quite a long time. How old are you going to be when he's hit 16? 40s. That's vague. Our 40s are five well, years. He's, he's almost three. So. We'll be 40 when he's eight. Yeah. So let's say you get double that. 48. I don't know if I like this whoa, game. Whoa, 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 whoa. This so game isn't... When he's eight, <laughs> right, we'll be 40. Sure. So double his life, 16. Mm-hmm. We'll 40. be 80. Wait, that's we'll good man. Dog is, yeah, that checks dog out. Is, no, no, no. He'll double his... After eight years, we'll be 40. Mm-hmm. When he's 16, double that, yeah. we'll be double our age. So yeah. we'll go oh. from 40 to 80. We'll it's be double right. our age. So we accelerate dramatically. Wow. It's just simple math, guys. Maths that makes sense. Just simple math. took a huge hit today. today. Um, no, but you will, so eight, so I he'll will be 16. Be cl- close to 50. You'll be almost 50. That's pretty good. You'll be 48. That's good, though. I, I, That's pretty like, good. Yeah. This the, would be my worst nightmare for him to perish. Yeah. That means also Especially you perish could before squeeze in another dog or two before you die. Yeah, probably too. <laughs> probably too. I feel like it, you get to a certain age and maybe training a dog becomes a bit more exhausting. However, yeah, yeah. maybe a rescue dog that's already been trained who just wants to chill out, that would be good. Yeah. yeah, you get one that matches your energy. So I think puppies, they do require a lot of care and attention. Um, and he is a beagle. Yeah. Still rips holes through fucking blankets, though. Like, I don't, how do you train that out of a dog? Um, I mean, cover the blankets in... You need to avoid your board. life, not the dog. So you need to stop using stop blankets. Using, I did for a while, and I was like, I just want a blanket every now and then. I don't the want to turn because the, the heating issue. You, you need know? to adjust it to a snuggly or snuggly. Uh, He'll rip holes through it. Like literally today, he ripped a hole through a blanket. Yeah, but if you're like, wearing it, would he do it? If it's a if it an item of clothing, like a blanket, smelt like a blanket, he's gonna cut a hole through it. Really? Even what he does is put both paws down. Is like, uh, pulls back, tears at it. Occasionally, I find a cushion which has got a nice little hole in it. It's fucking annoying. I buy cheap cushions for that reason alone. Yeah. Anyway, 
Enough about dog talk. A dog. Are you thinking about getting a dog? Yeah, I'd like one. I don't know whether. <sighs> no, not really. Not at the moment. I don't know. I don't know where how. I, 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 I see the benefits. I like. I, I was impressed with how much you walked. And I was like, shit, I'd like that. I'd like that reason. Because a lot of the reason. time, like, working out, <clears throat> so I just have to cycle. give myself a reason and then I can work out. I feel like it's just that step to what getting out the door. Yeah. Which is... But you don't even you think need... about I don't even think about it now. No, exactly. And that's great. When I first got him, I was like, oh, gotta, gotta mm. walk, gotta do whatever. Yeah, yeah. But now it's, if anything, it's, it's just default saying. Habitual. Just like, gotta do it. Yeah, otherwise, it's really otherwise good for you. you know he's going to be just a bit agi agitated and obviously not have his shits and pisses. It's yeah. like getting a PT because like with a the PT, they like make sure you go, right? They'll message mm. you and be like, hey, you're coming to the gym tonight, right? And you're like, fuck, I guess I am. Like with the dog, it's like, hey, if you don't walk me, I'm going to get fat and probably die earlier. And you're like, well, fuck, kinda, all right, I'll walk you. Kind of feel sad for them as well. It's like, that's the only real fun you that's truly the get. Main yeah. Fun. Well, yeah, no, yeah, getting to smell everything is what he loves. Yeah. So Sniffing many stories piss. out there to smell. So many piss sniffs. <sighs> this is a you good can't one. tear away a dog from a good book. Yeah. Be unfair. Yeah. Sometimes he dips his tongue in fresh piss. <laughs> and that really puts me off. Oh, Isn't God. that weird? That, that, that is that. weird. It's like a. Why? Just okay. testing the waters. Oh, no, haven't you? Yeah, no, that is. That's piss. Well, that's piss. That's piss. It is piss. That's piss. I'll piss on this. <laughs> Yeah, or shit on it. Confirmed. <laughs> Did you say something? Does Mochi have to have a expre expressing those glands? Or not recently. Not? But that had to happen one time. It had to happen. When do you know that has to happen? When she starts smelling bad from her ass. <laughs> okay. I think Murphy's all right. But it's like the smell <laughs> comes, it's pungent. It's horrible. Do you see any? Do you see the sex? Sometimes. The sex visible? Do no, they look like tiny two little much, shells? It's too much fluff. So what, what happened? Mean? You just poke a. I didn't Finger do at it. the butthole and then got the vet to do got it. Got him. I didn't do it. Man, vets have a harsh fucking time, don't they? The amount of people who are like, I love animals, I want to be a vet. And it's like, you, oh, you're going to have to kill a lot of animals. Dude. And you're going to have to express a lot of glands and have to look inside them and stuff. And it's like, it's commendable if you can do it. Yeah. Like, it's like, that is. There's, I don't, I don't think there's an upside to being a vet. I really don't. Like, I was thinking about this. helping animals, like farm. You're helping animals as well. That part must be really rewarding. Yeah, but I've never met a vet that seems like they're in it for that well, though, either. I, I guess <laughs> oh, every animal they like, save, oh, they I put one down. Yeah. Oh, I'm here to fucking ninety nightless. Oh, you wanted four cats dead? Perfect. I got a four cat day today. Four um, today. They're on the board. <laughs> ding ding ding. They got a bell every time they euthanize one. But like, we're cat free. Also, like, um, like you know, farm vets, like the guys, the guys. The, that come and like do like, arms and yeah yeah and it's just like all right oh, we got this is gear in all the way right, let me get this Feet boy and the bull spunk out right you're gonna go squirt this spunk into that there cow and it's just like they're doing the jobs ugh. that you hate yeah but also yeah like that yeah i mean all the yeah. vets i've you know come across they love their little routine checkup Appointments. I think so, yeah. yeah. I, I, I guess it's not going to always be doom and gloom, is it? Yeah, it's, like, it's like, just about oh, it the very table, depressing element of the job. And shit. Yeah, well, no, those are the good ones, I guess. It's yeah. more like when, yeah. But anyway, yeah, that's or dealing with that dogs or whatever that aren't necessarily well trained, so that they bite and stuff, or they just are hard to deal with. That's probably quite common as well. I don't know. Oh yeah, hard to deal with pets would be difficult. Or like having to deal with exotic animals. Is that something that every vet? You know, I reckon the exotics are easier because, well, it depends on the exotic. What, 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 yeah, what? Lizards, I can imagine, are com raccoon. complicated. Not raccoon. I wouldn't, oh, I wouldn't class that as an exotic. Pet? Pet. I'm not sure it's you exotic. can. Can we get a hat films raccoon? What would we call it? Well, they're not, they're not like in the UK, really. What would we call it? Got a raccoon. Jeremy. Jeremy the raccoon. Sit down, Jeremy. With his little hands. Dave. He wants food. Living in a bin, we've got a little steel trash can, and it lives in it. So grabby hands. They might, they might, they might. So grabby hands those. could be his nickname. There'll be, there's like a bunch of like Jeremy Grabber. <laughs> Jeremy Grabber sounds like he's ejected from the Conservative Party. <laughs> <laughs> grabber by name, grabber by nature. Well, that guy's name is Pincher. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Ugh. Um, My God. Yeah, we could definitely find somewhere that has um, interactable. Uh, oh really? Yeah. In the UK, in the Bristol, there's like two Shit. like farm zoos I, I in didn't Bristol even where you can just go and mess around with animals. Mess around. What about raccoons? I don't know. Nests, raccoons. I'm not sure. But when I went to the one in Chu Valley, I felt like I'd stepped onto the Tiger King's like lot because they just had so many random animals and pens. You know, he's running like, for president now. Is he in prison? 
<laughs> yeah. They're in Chew Valley Animal Park. Huh? There are they raccoons are in Chew Valley. Valley Animal Park. I'm in. Oh, look at them. I love raccoons so much. My little hands. An option to, like, I just think they're so them? cute. They are just they adorable are little creatures. Um, I don't know if it's you're allowed to pet them. It doesn't. No. The thing is, though, right? Chew Valley Animal Park is one of these establishments that I reckon if you say to them, oh. we'll give you 50 quid if you let us in the pin for, pen for 10 minutes, they'd <laughs> say on. yes. Go Honestly, I, I loved it I, when I went there. But I was like, this is bizarre. They just have like snow foxes in a pen. Like uh, they've got camels. They've got two giant camels in a field. Then they've got a pen of goats and a pen of piglets that you can go and run around in, which I loved. Um, and they, we should do that as a day out. Well, this is what I originally suggested um, last year when it the was the weather's starting a bit to sunnier. pick up. A yeah, little yeah. Bit. yeah. Well, they they've just had like a a new horde of goats. Horde. <laughs> they had a load of baby pygmy goats born recently. I've had my fill of goats. Yeah. I prefer piglets. Raccoons I had to aren't look after in the wild. goats for a long time. Goats? Yeah. Raccoons aren't How in the wild? It? Well, it says uh, in the UK, raccoons aren't established in the wild, but sightings have been reported since the 70s. Raccoons have... Oh, it's just, just describe what they look like. I mean, there aren't raccoons in the UK. I don't think so. I and think not, most people uh, misidentify no, badgers. It's either like... Probably. ...released ones from zoos, maybe, yeah, that yeah. have then created well, a little ecosystem yeah. themselves. Well, hang on. The Daily Mail says, um, and we should always believe everything the Daily Mail says, uh, mm. raccoons would thrive in the UK by settling in urban coastal regions like London, Brit Brighton, and Liverpool if they escaped captivity, study warns. Mm. Well, so they'd have to escape first, which, I mean, it could happen. Be the raccoons they are wily the little boys. Look at it, though. Look at that raccoon. Oh, they're all very southern hemisphere. Oh, I like a raccoon. Interesting. But I don't know if they would be make good pets. And why is that? Why do we God, think that one looks raccoon. like a that's fucking that's dog? A, that's a different kind of raccoon. That's a, wild that's a raccoon, raccoon dog, it's that's called. A raccoon dog. It's a raccoon, raccoon dogs dog. aren't raccoons, but members of the canid or canid. So like family. foxes. Uh, it's a dog family. Cool. That is a dog that looks like a raccoon. <laughs> yeah. Fuck, Fuck me. Why don't you just cool. get that? Why don't I just get a raccoon dog? <laughs> that's Holy cool. shit. They go. are uh, they're native to forests of eastern Siberia, northern China, north Vietnam, Korea, and... Japan. Right, we get dropped into a jungle somewhere yeah. in Vietnam and we have to find a raccoon dog. <laughs> I think that finding a wild one would be um, it'd be scary. I don't think they would be they as friendly as they look. You know? They are yeah. big, yeah. Anyway, we don't we can't house <laughs> raccoons here. We're not going to. Foxes though, you could probably take them in. <sighs> yeah. They're not uh, yeah. Free fox gloves. I've never felt the want to want to why is that? You can take them off. Their feet. Glove. Are they all wearing gloves? Oh, they're wearing gloves. I thought you meant the flower. No. <laughs> no, no. No, no. Take them. Actually, gloves. take them. <clears throat> I have seen there is a video of a guy who's feeding like 30 raccoons on his porch. Have you seen that? Yeah, and There's they're reaching up through the bars and stuff they're like, like that. Yeah, oh, yeah. Give grabbing. Me food. Fuck, man. They're very I really want hands. a raccoon now that we've spoken about it. Yeah. Let's well, get one. You Send could, one in. You probably could, if you really wanted to, you could probably keep it as an exotic yeah. pet. It might need a license. Do I actually know a guy who used to work in the exotic licensing like part of the UK government, so okay. I'll ask him for you. Be like, oh, yeah. Well, yeah. I'd ask him what's worse, like a, like a monkey or a raccoon, because I feel like a monkey's worse. Definitely a monkey. The like definitely. elements of yeah. plus they just they have more rights as animals in terms yeah. of like more protections. Raccoons are like. Do you think there's like a level of like animal like? Which animals would rip a baby's face off quicker, and like how dangerous they are to? Other I think people. that's probably how they do it. Right. Yeah, yeah, they do it. They're, this has got a face rip rating of yeah. um, <laughs> face <laughs> rip rating. Yeah. <laughs> yeah a, little, a little model with a little kind of leather mask <laughs> on it. Like, we normally just give this to the animals, see how quickly they rip the face. Twenty off. minutes, not bad, not bad. This Whoa. guy's pretty safe. We can Sweet keep yeah. this one. That's, that's enough time for someone to at least notice the sounds it's making. <laughs> Hat films monkey mascot. Hat films monkey mascot. I don't oh. want a monkey mascot. Call him Bubbles. What if it's fully trained? Nah, man. That'd be a fun little companion. I wouldn't what want What kind? To... Like, a, like a Marcel? Yeah. Those are the you know what worst. You puts me off? They're so it's screechy. What about an orangutan, a big boy that's just sitting here with us? Well, five times stronger than a human. I'd be totally yeah. fine with one, but... <laughs> no, it shouldn't be stronger They'd have to wear this. underwear, because, like, I'm put off by their little butt. Oh, all I could think of was that video you sent me once of it just mulching its own dick and then eating its <laughs> jism. Squeeze the shit out of its own penis. It got results. <laughs> And then it ate the results. And the time that they used a frog a as a anymore. sex toy? A frog as a sex toy. <laughs> this poor little fucking frog just like, in a pen with another monkey. <laughs> just as the thing's just forcing onto his dick over and over. Like, <laughs> that frog, man. I don't want a monkey. Did it survive? 
No. No, probably not. I don't think so. Fucking hell. Yeah. I don't think I want a monkey. Right. No, but, right suddenly so put off the idea. The equipment, you wanting a raccoon. So raccoons in like they just their look native really ranges, cute. let's say the North, let's say North America, got are hands. kind of like seagulls. Like sure, they they, yeah. they, they fuck pests. around with bins, they're, they're pests. pests. Yeah. So I think you wanting a raccoon to keep here yeah. is about as reasonable as an American going, I'm going to keep a seagull in a cage. You know, like, so, and I'm sure nobody would have a problem with that. Yeah. Let's get you a raccoon. You could probably train a raccoon. If you could buy a raccoon and keep it. You could train a raccoon, I think. Would you? Do, would you? But how dangerous is a raccoon to, like, would it attack you? In the same I way, think like, they're more likely if to if I had one destroy a your home. Yeah. Like tear yeah. things out of yeah. bins and yeah. stuff. And that's what they said about the beagle. And to be honest, he's never got through the bins. <laughs> but everything yeah, else. But beagles Some beagles don't. will like literally push furniture up to the side and like kind of clamber up and wow. be that smart about it. But like I've kept everything quite high up away from. I kept them dumb. Raccoons have grabby. The floor's hands. never been cleaner, to be honest. They have little hands though. Yeah. They can like actual hands. Yeah, they can open things and like open tear shit. things open. I, I imagine you'd have to. That's keep my crunchy nut. I imagine you'd have to keep them in like a um, like an aviary kind of style construction right like a big old metal f cage like a chinchilla cage yeah if you could have like that, a yeah bigger than a chinchilla cage of course yes. but like as in Same i'm picturing format. a chinchilla cage yeah, yeah four times bigger yeah when i got ripley the cat they had like a external building for oh, really? all the cats and i think wow. that would be a good because they had like a sofa that was all torn up and stuff just and like nice chill place just for... climbing frames and fencing yeah. and shit inside and it's like a home away from home yeah you just go in there hang out with the raccoon and then it can do what it wants in Some this house shit. yeah mm. this does feel like late stage like stoner businessman ideas you know like as in like yeah, like when you hit 55 and you're yeah. sat around in like a raccoon dude farm. style cardigan just like yeah I, I got an outhouse so my raccoon we're going chill with the raccoon and then there'll be like an don't Instagram. touch it don't feed it don't touch it <laughs> don't feed it actually just don't get in there don't get in it's there it's terrifying in there and like, covered there'll be in a, shit there'll be an Instagram or whatever social media app is in existence at that point just like this guy lives with his raccoon and uh, he's just like yeah I go in a, yeah. I got a raccoon house yeah <laughs> I get my, my daily Big Mac, Big Mac and go into the, the yeah. raccoon house. I un I, oh, I only eat Big Macs. Oh, well. That's way. one of my other things. <laughs> I try to keep things simple. Yeah. I could be that guy. Yeah. I, I reckon I could be that guy. Yeah, I'll just eat Big Macs. How you could be the raccoon. How long do raccoons live for? Like, do they live longer than a dog? Up to 20 years. Do you reckon? Three years in... Um, Ass Bing. Two to three years. So that's in the wild. Are you fucking crazy? In, in captivity, they can live up to 20 years. What the years. fuck? Two to that's three years in the wild? They're on the pecking order, I guess. Who's killing them? The bears? The wild. The bears. I don't the think The tigers? Bears. Lions? The lot of lions. The monkeys? Are the monkeys doing it? The monkey raccoon be. war has raged for millennia. They've got what? stinger missiles now. NATO sending raccoons stinger missiles. Where do they originate, raccoons? 20 years as a pet all over the place 20 years that's a very different number isn't it's it? almost like we have to take them out of the wild because that's unfair to last two, two three, to years, three years you're gonna die you're gonna get killed actually looks all so raccoons cute, though. get killed <laughs> i want one so it's like we're saving their lives really yeah look at this little face two to three years They're imagine looking cute. at his little face his eyebrows just like how did they get two, that picture three? with him just resting his what hands are years? They don't on that know. table I know. Look, yeah, that's, that's incredible. Really, so there's a picture of a raccoon. He's got both hands on the table. He's kind of just looking like he's like demanding something. At the end, edge of a meeting desk. <laughs> Shit. All right. Anyway, when you know. I first got Randy, I um, I misconstrued somehow some information, and I thought he was going to live for 20 years. Oh. And then one day I asked Google, and I was like, oh, hey, no. Google, how much, how long do leopard geckos live? And it was like nine to 12 years. And I just looked at him and I'm like, imagine finding out your life expectancy is half what you thought it was. I, and I looked at him. He looked at me, and he was just like. He knows. He knew oh, that in that moment. 9 to 12 is not bad. 9 to 12 is not bad. Did you say it out loud? Well, I thought it was going to be 20. Yeah. So, you know, he's just lost half, yeah. his heart, laugh, half of his Schrodinger lifespan. Yeah. In your, in your but mind. it's unlikely that he's going to get run over by a car or, like, stolen or, like, kind of... Just, oh, I let him out. He goes out. He goes out for walks. Go get my meal deal. Go for a waddle. Oh, I send sorry. him down to the front door. I'd love that. I'd love if there were small, much more <coughs> trainable creatures. Like rats are pretty good for it, but they don't live long enough. I envy those who've got their dogs trained to the point where they will not leave their heel. Because mm. yeah. I, I can't do that with Murph. He will not. It's constant he would, training. Uh, he would either jump in front of people, like or, or like get in their way, or jump into traffic because he doesn't give a shit. He wants to smell something across the road. So it's like there's just no other way. How no do they do it? You think? Constant Strict training. training, and also like yeah, the breed does matter. 
I so. find that the, the, you see that most often with certain breeds, right? When you see people who have that yeah. like magical no lead dog, yeah, um, they tend to be a, one of a few. It's the smart ones, the true... but it's also the ones that need constant yeah. exercise, and stimulation, mental, mm. like German shepherds and stuff, and collies, border collies. Yeah, definitely. People border buying collies. border collies is just like I. Just, I do you have a huge pot of land? Yeah, yeah. Do because you otherwise, like work it every single yeah. day. It's like a lot. Mm. Anyway, Tough. anyway, hypotheticals. Yeah, yeah hypotheticals. As voted on, not gone on stage yet. Sorry. By not only our patrons but all our supporters. Mm. I put it in the Discord again. So if if you are a YouTube member, a Patreon supporter, or a Twitch subscriber, connect it to our Discord. Discord.gg slash Hat Films, and you get access to the Scrubscribers chat channels and stuff where all our videos get um, promoted for members all the member stuff and also these uh, fucking go on votes <laughs> <laughs> for hat chat there are votes there are votes and, and unsurprisingly the hive mind is consistent so the patron votes are exactly the same as oh, good. the discord votes it's almost like they're the same people so <laughs> what is number one number one is Three wishes to cope with being the last human on Earth. I guess you can't wish for more wishes. You wake up. Uh, you wake up, and every human is currently alive or developing. Well, hang on, how is this written? You wake up, and every human in currently alive, or I'm reading this as it's written. <laughs> in currently alive or developing has been wiped from existence. <laughs> so that is a Charlie Kelly right there? Countries, Every, maybe. Everything else I think countries are going to be in there somewhere. Uh, to help cope with this, you are allowed three wishes. But you can't change the fact that you are the only human on Earth. Okay, so humanity's wiped out. You can't add more people. So you can't wish for another person? No. Fuck. So no wishing for death either. Well, I mean, do you have to wish for that? I guess you're... Not really. There's plenty of ways to do it in the world. <laughs> Jesus. Well, you, right. I mean, what, uh, is a wildlife uh, alive? Well, no, but there's no people left. The last person. It just says you that. wake up and every human is currently. Every human's dead. So right. you can have animal friends. Yeah. I just, I'm reading that first sentence and it hurts God, to read. That would be so lonely, wouldn't it? But yeah, you're, last, you're the last one alive. You're, you're, I am legending it. Yeah, you are. I know, but there's no zombies. There's no zombies, yeah. If everything was. Oh, hang on, that's a different one. Okay, so there we go. So what would you ask for Can in your you three wishes? Can wishes a little bit and be like, I want a fully sentient robot that mimics a human in its fuck. entirety. A fuck bot. Uh, so <laughs> no. <laughs> Wait, yeah, sure. Shot wants a fuck bot. Yeah. Uh, so, you could... so your wishes are outside of the... I mean, fuck, uh, man, you... So you Money you means be, nothing. Can you wish to be immortal? Mm. I wish to be immortal. I wish to have the ability to fly through space and time. Quickly, time quickly space and time yeah because right earth is a beautiful place and without anybody on it it would it's be more good. beautiful um because without you on it without human beings absolutely destroying nature you'd get to see let the nature. raccoons thrive let the raccoons thrive i will i would have a robinson crusoe style island where the raccoons do everything for me they've all got bow ties there's a raccoon the first raccoon i get i train to make bow ties so then all future raccoons get the bow tie like almost like a mark of respect nice so like, you know how like soldiers when they graduate like they get their berry yeah the raccoon would get the bow get tie, the bow tie nice. they would then man my intergalactic spacefaring ship hold on i just want to add to the bow tie thing because it's right. quite an important point yeah. <laughs> Do the bow ties get more novel sized the higher, higher ranks, ranks they, they get, get. Yeah, so like yeah, big yeah. floppy ones yeah yeah the <laughs> nice carry on like the super, it's like the generals in um, yeah. like North Korea you know those photos you see where they've got like every LinkedIn endorsement yeah. ever on their chest yeah that but like so it's just like sir your, your bow tie is truly ridiculous you're too kind <laughs> thank <laughs> you it's dragging the floor yeah. thank you I can't see <laughs> um, so yeah I, I wish for immortality and I wish to become a god emperor of a raccoon crew that flies through space and time. How smart are the raccoons? Super smart. That's worrying, though, isn't it? No, no, because they've you're got worried so about a mutiny. Smart, they're almost like a beneficent god, a benevolent god. It's like they're, they're treating you. Yeah, like, they see me. Bless him. They're like, oh, you guys. There's a really great series of books um, called Expeditionary Force, which is very popcorny. Like, you know, it's very easy reading. It's not going to like. Blow. Like Hardy Boys. Huh? Is it like the Hardy, like Boys? The Hardy what, Boys? The wrestlers? No, no, no. The Hardy Boys. The books. The books, which the wrestlers named themselves after. I had no idea that that was the thing. <laughs> it's like two the Hardy brothers. Boys. Or yeah, it's old school. Is that Enid Blyton? No. Is it Enid Blyton? I don't fucking know. It's teen 
stuff. Okay, sorry. I, oh, maybe I do vaguely remember that. Yeah, anyway, Can't. but basically in it, human beings, there, there's a whole galaxy of advanced aliens, right? Human beings are pretty low on the, on the lower rung there. Sure. They've got some remedial space flight, but not much. What we are now, these aliens come to Earth, they take us off to go and fight somewhere, blah, blah, blah. It turns out the aliens that find us are quite low on the rung as well. And there are some that are even more advanced than that. And this whole book expands on these ideas of like these super advanced aliens. Really cool. But one of the things they find in one of the core narrative concepts is the human beings are being held prisoner on some planet. And this AI, this ultra advanced elder AI, billions of years old, reveals itself to them because they're dumb enough for the alien AI to not be a dangerous weapon in their hands, you know? So like, they're almost like, with, with more advanced races that know exactly how this AI works and what it's capable of would use it to destroy the universe, right? But there's some code written into this, this AI that was so advanced made by this incredibly advanced extinct alien race that said like, as long as you, they can't hurt themselves with all your power, you can reveal yourself to them, right? Same sort of concept where I get these raccoons so goddamn smart that they pity me. You know, they're, they're, <laughs> they go to space with me and I'm almost their pet. But you what, know? How, like, how, what, what's the phrasing of the wish for that one? I want. So <laughs> like you, yeah. you said, I'm making. You have to write this down. So for are, you, are you giving yourself the ability to make creatures smart? Maybe that's a better ability to have. Yeah. Than just that was going to be my wish. Oh, okay. So you to have Zootopia, right, the yes, shit out of the planet. Because I've, okay. I've, I've, yeah, I've, I've already spoken. Also, about. that expeditionary yeah. force idea with the AI. Yeah. That's just the plotline to Destiny. Yeah, is it? The moon thing that the visits. traveler, yeah, the traveler, yeah, yeah, oh. like, yeah. I'm, of course, and I'm sure if you look further back in other stories, you'll you'll find that same concept. Bungie, but fucking ultimately, rip. it's a benevolent god, right? It's the yeah. idea of a benevolent god. Yeah. Um, that so I Zootopia. Oh, okay. Right. I wish for all animals to gain human levels of intellect. And, uh, it's not worrying because you could be taken over quite quickly. My next wish is for them to do no harm to me. Oh, good, okay, good. <laughs> okay, so he's got like a, it's a, it's a kind of a double. You need, you need that second wish for yeah. that first one to work yeah. well. Otherwise, a tiger. I'd get it in quick as well. The tiger yeah. attack is, and a smart <laughs> tiger. I mean, they're smart anyway, but like a, a human smart tiger is going to yeah. fuck you up because it's like, well, now I'm. Yeah. Head I'm, and then I see how that. You goes. are now just force fielded up. Okay. Yeah, I, I see how that goes, and then I got that third wish. In case yeah. I need to augment things, like mm. okay, make me a god. <laughs> wow, okay, that's pretty good. That's that's everything, isn't it? Yeah. Well, make I also me a god. What, is, what, is, what does that mean? Do you have to specify? Is it one of those things where it's like it's like um, what's that film with uh, Brendan Fraser and where he's is it devil something? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Where, yeah, where yeah the one meets, with Elizabeth uh, Hurley. Elizabeth Hurley, and she's like the devil, but like the witch, every no, wish the, is always the, like bedazzled? kind of twisted, bedazzled, and every wish is twisted slightly. Yeah, so yeah. it's like, well, you asked for this, you have to be a god, and now right, you're like, yeah. but which god did you want to be? Because there's wording. like five thousand. It's like I'm one of the shit ones. That yeah. sucks his own dick every day. Yeah, you're the god of sucking dick. So you're the god of sucking your own dick. <laughs> and that's all you're good at. And, and you, only you enjoy it. And you're yeah. the only one left, so you yeah. can't even like benefit somebody else. Ah, no. autophilatia. Autophilate. <laughs> well, I am the Autophilate. Only. My loneliness knows no bounds. Oh. <laughs> Imagine being one of the Greek gods that just gets constantly fucked by Zeus. <laughs> 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 Guys, Zeus again. He's an elephant. <laughs> yeah. Fuck's sakes. So I would cloudy with a chance of meatballs this thing because I'm thinking about food production. I've here. not seen this. It's a reality. So it's what? a simple idea. Okay. He makes a machine that good, changes actually. the weather. It's, to a, it's a good film. Yeah. The second one, I argue, is slightly better, which, oh, really? you know, just slightly. Yeah. It's better. But okay. it's, it's one of those things where it's just like, it's, it's, it's fun for the whole family. So it rains But meat. like, it rains mm. the food that you, 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 you want. So if you want a, a fucking cheeseburger, you're like, fuck, let's make it rain, bitch. And then like, bam, rain. Is it a lot of cheeseburgers. Though? It does rain a lot Can of you cheeseburgers. Imagine? Right, hold on, right. So it's raining cheeseburgers yeah. in this situation. Are we going to presume the cheeseburgers stay together? Let's assume so. Or all the buns and everything <laughs> come apart. Right. So in which case, let's suggest that they're wrapped in paper I mean, like you would. We like... don't have to take the full idea of that. My main issue was food production because like, you know, I look at, you know, COVID-19, the world went to meltdown. They couldn't even send shit to each other. Food was an issue. S supermarkets started shit in their pants. <laughs> I basically just maybe maybe I should just wish for a f constantly fully stocked supermarket that I can visit whenever I want to sort myself out with food. Because yeah. I know that that's, even though it's a, pra it's a practical, very serious thing, that would be pretty cool. What if it's like a bedazzled... Unless it's, just, unless it's just a building where it rains. Cheeseburgers. I'm still thinking about... 
the noise of like yeah. the cheeseburgers <laughs> falling from right. the sky. And then you go outside, you're just like, fuck out! Who asked for meat on the bone? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Christ! Well, like, yeah, like, imagine no. getting somebody like a bucket. We could simulate this. The, you, film, the film explores these McDonald's. ideas, guys. The yeah. film explores these yeah, ideas. Does, I, yeah. Honestly, watch okay. it. Maybe, right. you know, chill out yeah, one yeah. day. Like, and that's <laughs> but but this, is the great thing about, <laughs> this is the great thing about being the last human being on Earth. Yeah. Food would be abundant. Not only yeah, but would th you there's going to be an expiry, and also, you know, it's just getting hold of it. I mean, yeah, you're right. I mean, it's, it's like fueling cars. You can you access mean, all the like, cars that are left. Right? There's going to be so much left out there. Like, I think, reasonably speaking, yeah, maybe 20 years later, all of the food that's even long life is going to be uh, inedible, right? Mm. Let's say. But it requires a gathering element. Yeah. When I can just be like, bam, it's here. Down. I mean, imagine how fun it would. I mean, I think you I would. You could do that as well, though, but you I, always I, have a fallback. You would just last right? of us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So at least just it's, it's a security thing because mm. otherwise I'm not surviving. And obviously you, you've chosen immortality, but are you gonna have a nice steak dinner? I could do, but I won't die from going hungry. Cows? Who's feeding? Who's looking after the cows? The cows. I mean, okay, some cows would die. Yeah, some of them might get TB. I mean, it's not easy to maintain a cow fleet. Sure. Um, but like um, the there's always going to be f because you are the last human left. All the other systems in nature that human beings fuck with would be start to become restored, right? They would start to come back. So there'd be more berries in the bushes. Mm. There'd be more little game rabbits and things running around in the fields. Like every, everything- I wouldn't know what to pick. Off I'm not area. a hunt, I'm not a hunter. So like, I'm a, that would be, unless I I'd wish to become a pro hunter, which is the other end of it. If, you yeah. know, teach a man to fish. Yeah. Um, yeah, it? our rivers would start to recover uh, because we're no longer dumping like an absolute shit ton of human yeah. waste into them. Um, Imagine all the pets. Because yeah. all the humans you, died. You better get used to eating dog. Why? I mean, there's other animals. The, that's so many not other what dogs. I meant. It's more well, like, sure? more like... poor pets that are like, stuck in the <clears> houses because <throat> the humans disappeared. Yeah. Mm. Oh, well. This would be a fun concept to explore in a TV show. No one's really quite done it like this. Wait, there is a show called Last Man on Earth. Is there's there? A... Although, I think the episode one, I think, it, it, it Bombed? takes that away. As in, like, immediately uh, some one person turns up. There's always got to be a love story, isn't it? Yeah, it's quite funny. Because um, then an even more attractive person turns up and then he cheats on it. It's funny. It's quite funny, actually. <laughs> okay. Well, um, there's also like the... But I don't think it's exploring it in the same way that we're talking about it, but yeah. No, that's the thing. And I, I almost want like a, a 28 Days Later, a um, yeah. uh, something a bit like... Uh, sorry, the Will, Will Smith film again. Um, uh, I Am Legend. I Am Legend. I am legend. Yeah. But without the threat. Like the threat is the very real reality of like... Well, no, it's animals. I'm, I'm on my own, it's, it's and I've got animals. to look after myself. It's wild yeah. animals, and it's yeah, infection yeah. or disease. Well, somehow. that's the thing. What happens if you get a disease? There's no surgeons to help anymore. There's no. There's no. You have to learn so much. Maybe that's where the, the immortality yeah. comes in. Yeah, yeah, immortality. Yeah. What if you become a, your own doctor? I don't think that really come, works in practice. Oh, not and I operating <laughs> on my own dick. Yeah. Uh, come on, digger! A fucking raccoon ripped it off. <laughs> I got too close to the raccoons again. Fuck <laughs> me! Just, just stitching it back. Like, God damn it! Yeah. God, I mean, alternatively, <laughs> you could you could create an army of uh, robots. You know, b uh, Boston army. Dynamics. Well, I say army because let's be honest, it's like, a lot of them. Where it's the you know basically running a town, but then obviously you could be overrun by them. See, this is why I want the novel like Zootopia style because you'd have like the little squirrels carrying around small objects all day. Yeah. I don't think robots would be as fun and entertaining as uh, no, but uh, gathering I, all the I animals. Think I'm talking on more of a functional element of how, right. how this world would work, but and this is why I'd want to leave it. Fully like, automated I, city. I, I think for a you're while, off. for how a how good life, you've, you've learned, you've got the gift of flight, but also like, I guess you. You're in well, I'm thinking I'd Captain Marvel this, you know, like, you know how right. she's just like, hey, whoop, whoop, whoop. you know, she just flies everywhere. She's got a big golden streak of energy. It's a lot of exploration of nothing. In and though. out of, yeah, it is. And that's why I said like in time and space, because I'd like to skip that gap between. Right. Um, so going. to you, it wouldn't feel like. Oh, yeah, been... I'd be able to just jump vast distances because, yeah, I don't really want to be in nothing space for like months. Just yeah. me, <laughs> me, me and my raccoons in your their space suits. And your body's, <laughs> your body's yeah. also just, you're also just not going to get crumpled up by the, the, by the space. No, I hope not. So you could you could travel as fast as possible. Yeah, I'm just a god. I'm just an impervious god <laughs> sailing through space. Impervious is different to Shit. immortal because you, you, you could be you could be fried by a sun, right, or crumpled up by a black hole and yeah. still be alive. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What about the crippling loneliness? Raccoons. I've got sentient records. I mean, like you're you're right because be if you're traveling somewhere yeah. in space, but obviously you can. But that's why you would travel as fast as you can. Do you have it? There's no limitations. 
This is so you why just you get travel. to an, a planet almost immediately. Yeah. Yeah. Find aliens. Find, find other people. people. Find aliens. Find people. If the universe Shit. is like that's as big a, as we think it is, it's just the unlimited button, isn't it? It's like you know, only see someone that looks uncannily like you in this planet. Mm -hmm. There's got to be another species that's like human esque, close Dude. enough. I once met my like absolute doppelganger at Creeley Adventure Park in Devon. Yeah, he's um, <laughs> like <laughs> legit. I was like, this is mad. <laughs> like, like it was really weird. This was about. Close, whoa, did well. you both look at each other? And go, hang on. What the, the fuck? Like, like, honestly, brother. Like, it was like ten. Home. It was about fifteen years ago now. I reckon it was, it was a good long time ago. But like, really <laughs> adventure. It was weird. Like, what happened? I, th I don't know. I, I can't remember. It was like he, he, <laughs> my mum somehow knew his mum. I remember okay, that much. That's weird. Whoa, hang on. <laughs> and like, she's like, oh, I used to work with you, blah blah, blah whatever. Yeah. And um, yeah, and yeah. then she's like, this is Him my son. Son. this is my son. And I was just like. Hang on. He looked like a slightly worse version of me, I will Ooh. say. Oh, that's what but, you're saying as well. Yeah. <laughs> Cre oh, Cre oh, thank God. I'm but the, it was the handsome one. Really weird. The head shape, the hair, the coloration, like, really similar. <laughs> like, really weird. Like, like, sort of, you know, there's that photo floating around of another guy that isn't Justin Royden that looks like me from years ago. <laughs> like, an American looking dude. He's got like a cap on. He's got like, he's a bit yeah. podgy. He's got the ginger yeah, yeah, yeah. hair and stuff. Yeah. Similar kind of thing as that. Like, very sort of just like, our heads are kind of the same shape and like. But to actually meet, that's the. I know. That's yeah. the part. You, thought, you would have thought it would happen more often, wouldn't you? Really? Well, really? I'm a little Why? concerned. Really? Yeah. Why? Huh? What to meet someone who looks like exactly like how him different often. can we? Surely be? that's the rare part. Like when people, someone's sending you a photo because it's just online. It's like oh, that someone looks like yeah, but seeing in person is a yeah. Seeing him in person is a rare event. We need to capitalize, especially if your bro. friend, <laughs> if your mum's friends with his mum. Yeah, oh, they were like acquaintances. They weren't really. But it makes friends. you wonder, doesn't it? Well, acquaintances, what? how you think that maybe she had a version of me that she then gave to him or vice versa? Or maybe dad played away. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shit! Eye opening, for <laughs> and that's the last I ever but saw him. <laughs> <laughs> They made me fight him to the death. Oh, oh, shit. There could be only one. <laughs> yeah, there's always like an age. God, he's mirroring like, every move. We've seen each other. <laughs> oh, shit. We've finally seen each other. We need to make them fight to the death. Al Smithy 2.0. I wonder who that guy was. He's always following me. <laughs> it's the doppelganger agent. Yeah, when I was in That's Turkey. Film. Surely. Film idea. Write that one doppelganger down. Doppelganger agent. Write that one down. We'll get it. Yeah, Will Smith. Speaking of agent. agent. Oh, was it really? Yeah, he fucking yeah. did. What's he it did. Called? He Why did. is Will Smith in all like of these films? Like last year. What? Really? It was an immense fat film. I yeah, think. yeah, yeah. What the fuck? There's one where he realizes there's a version of him for her the hunting. The two assassins him. or something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Literally what the Will Smith film. Fucking Shit. Will Smith films. Okay, here we go. After Earth, uh, no. Focus, no. Uh, Gemini Man. Gemini, Gemini Man. Man. Oh, but Gemini. who's watched that? How can I know that that's a film? You put I'm a star sign in a movie title, I'm not watching it. <laughs> that's how I tend to go for it. <laughs> You know? Oh shit! I want but that's just me. I'm a Taurus. That's just me. <laughs> that's what you get for being I'm a Taurus. I'm trying to think of a film that has a star sign in it that you fucking love. I know, me just too. I skipped you. through it pretty quickly. How many films have star signs in them? Uh, Is that, that's the question for Google, isn't it? How many <laughs> films have? Stars? That's actually a Bing Chat GPT question, I believe. <laughs> Okay. Zodiac, films. Uh, Zodiac. Zodiac, Zodiac Warrior. Have you seen yeah. that? Zodiac is the name of the system. It's so not it's not, a not a specific. Yeah, it's star not. You're right. Based, based on, on your sign. No. This isn't. That's not why. Scorpion, Scorpion King. <laughs> Scorpion <laughs> King. <laughs> King. Yes. Ah, damn it! I God. love oh, that film. Shit. Scorpion. Oh, Wait, but damn. that's Scorpio. It's not yeah, Scorpio yeah. King. Yeah. It's Scorpion King. The difference. Yeah, yeah. True. That's Close, true. That's true. But not quite ticking shit. that box. Um, we'll have to get back to you on this. Is this Google hasn't given me the things I wanted, and now it's talking about actual zodiac signs. <laughs> Is there any movie with cancer in it? Uh, or in the title. Of a secret Probably. agent, though. I yeah. thought I was being followed in Turkey for a bit. What the fuck? What do you mean? I know, right? By a doppelganger? Or? By a very smart looking man that kept appearing in different places. Seriously. Well, do you have sunglasses and he was always holding a paper? Like, it looked. Trilby. It looked really strange. And, like, part of me is like, well, that's, that's proof that you're not being followed then because anyone who does follow you is going to be, like, low key about it, right? Yeah. I don't know. I thought maybe, like, I get there and I've said some outspoken things about the Turkish government. Maybe, you know, they see, like, oh, this is a chance. Imagine to... them tracking. I just feel like that's such a. Oh, yeah. Imagine yeah, yeah. The, the investigative work to even go through a yeah. series of our videos mm -hmm. He's to find a specific <laughs> comment you made about Turkey one mm -hmm. time. 
to then have to send someone to follow Absolutely. you around. Absolutely. And this is this is what I told myself. The paranoia. And then he kept popping up. There was a bit. I was like, wow, my paranoia is a bit unchecked. What's going on here? Um, but uh, do you reckon? Yeah. You just can't identify mirrors. <laughs> 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 but no, are you, are you, were you dressed smart? <laughs> a, imagine right now, there's a montage scene go through Smith's head. My double memories. Following. Wait, <laughs> it's just, it's all every mirrors. time I follow these, <laughs> every morning I get up, he's there. <laughs> he's there. He's in the. He's and he reflects every surface. movement. He looks just like me, but not as handsome. <laughs> <Yeah>. Not slightly <laughs> skew if I know you. Um, Hall of Mirrors is a ego death <laughs> yeah I'm not a real person shit everything's a mirror <laughs> oh, yeah but that was interesting but no it wasn't it's just Didn't some guy you. that just happened to keep popping up what if places. it was and they Did just failed their you? mission maybe yeah what mission well it was like all sorts of weird stuff like I got on a ferry yeah. and he sat like and he was on the dodgers he was on me. the dodgers with me as well he was bumping into me yeah the fuck. <laughs> but like every time and he saw us in the ferris wheel completely <laughs> 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 Why is he on the merry-go-round as well? He's on every single <laughs> fairground <laughs> ride I was on that day. And then he yeah. watched a film with us. But then he the cinema the very, behind me. I got off this ferry. I walked a couple of different ways. We changed directions a couple of different times because we got lost. And then still, he kept on popping up. And I'm like, Ooh, this is strange. What, what was a if? lost tourist? What yeah, if? Because he was in a suit. And he, had like, he was quite well put together. And I was just like... Huh. But what if, you, what if you were being what, assessed a by a family member mm. for like how how good is he out about you know how good, <laughs> how good is, he? is he out about yeah. what's he really like what is choices yeah. in life what is life choices Let's have what a look. if it was yeah and then, well, I'm just like just, just took a left all yeah. sorts always of buying horrible things sort of <laughs> yeah. he keeps on making gobble gobble sounds at everyone he meets he's trying to explain that a turkey <laughs> is something different where I'm from turkey <laughs> turkey's a is, bird is a you bird know, <laughs> And they're just like, this guy is a monster. He's a he's, he's, oh, the guy in the suit's guy. writing notes down. Horrible yeah. guy. Also in Turkey, I don't think they call it Turkey, just so you know. Oh, what they That's what the English call it, yeah. Turkey. Yeah. Well, yeah. It's um, Turkey, I think. So it's pretty close. Turkey. Anyway, what were our three wishes after all? I think we've, I've, we've, I've, we've I think covered, covered our wishes. We've covered our wishes. We've covered everything. We've wished for everything, essentially, apart from didn't need money. When no well, one's money's around, pointless. Money, money became instantly useless. I'm sure the animals that I've wished to yeah. bring sentience will introduce yeah. a currency. We, had, we never discussed the uh, real ramifications of the nuclear situation in the planet you're on. There's no one monitoring that shit. That's very true. Is that something that you fear? So we're saying it's so sudden that they don't get to put the reactors into cold shutdown. Yeah. Fuck. Because that's a very real problem, yeah. Mm. You'd just be like, well, that reactor This is like, here. you know, TVs where they just turn themselves off. After like twenty minutes, I think that's the mm. that's the downside of nuclear reactors. They're a little bit more complicated than TVs. I reckon. I reckon. I don't know. It's twenty twenty three. How hard? Can and those it be? are all like Soviet era. I've got to do a TikTok dance, though. Yeah, yeah. I have to do a very specific TikTok. Come dance on, you got to do the unlock. dance. <laughs> <laughs> the rods are shut off down. already. Shut off. Shut up! Shut, shut up! Shut up! <laughs> shut up! Shit! God, I knew there was a reason I learned these skills. I love running up that hill. <laughs> My God, it's so fucking stupid. Uh, no, I didn't use this as passcode. Wasting yet. your lives! Eventually, though, you on YouTube. <laughs> People are having fun. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks, yeah. everybody. But there you go. That's uh, that's that's our hypothetical for the day. I think that's our hat chat as well. That is our hat mm. chat. Like we went off on one today. <laughs> Yeah, went wild. Hot We're wild. gonna get raccoons. Yeah, well, raccoons would be in my community. I, I'd ensure that they'd get a good upstanding. There are no laws anymore. I can have any pet I want. Yeah, but I will not mistreat them. Do you guys want to buy Geiger counters? <sighs> I, you know what? I'd be terrified. Let's go Geiger hunting. Go, I, um, go round Bristol. Go. Shit, there's flicking, something radioactive yeah. here. Dude, the Ronkins are off the yeah. net here. <laughs> we'll, do, we'll take the crabbing lines with us as well, because we'll, we'll do yeah, that at the same time. That was, we mentioned that last week, but we'll take the crabbing lines and the Geiger counters, and we'll just yeah. judge. Um, what we'll, a pairing. We'll be like, look, the Geiger counter here is 0 0.02. You're no safe. radiated crabs. <laughs> yeah. And the crabs, zero. No, cra no crabs. No crabs. <laughs> Next place. Wait, correlation. 10 meters up the river. Up the Should river. we make conspiracies from it? Like, there's no crabs with there's radiation. <laughs> <laughs> we can co correlate those two things. Just completely yeah. pull together, really. That's what's yeah. so great about having access to technology that you have no idea what you're doing mm. with. Yeah. You know, yeah. Like, we'll take a magic eight ball with yeah, us as well. Yeah, Ask questions. Like, 
So we think... Um, Every time. Okay, not sure. <laughs> Keep saying that. Not sure again. I think it's broken. Could be. <laughs> there are no crabs. Um, but yeah, there was a time when I actually looked into buying a um, guy account and a handheld one. Of course there was. I don't know. It, during lockdown, I think. Or I, <laughs> no, wait, no. It was when the Russian invaded Ukraine. How much uh, could they be? Was it just they're not just cheap. Blah, 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 blah. They're not what, that expensive. A so couple hundred quid. What was your thought Shit. process? Yes. Huh? Ah, just in case. When, I was like, when, oh shit, Ukraine's been invaded by a major world power. Maybe nukes will start flying and I need to worry about, like, you know, avoiding that. I think if if you had a guy count that was going off, mm. it was because a Russian nuke hit yeah. the UK. Yeah. I don't think you'd have an arm. To hold a Geiger counter. Yeah, it's already sure. been nuked. Yeah. I don't think it's nukes. It's, it's, I'm interested in to, uh, what's, like wind what's actually around us that's got any kind of radiation on it. That's quite cool. Fuck, I'm my house is about loaded. <laughs> yeah, the nuke thing, sure. But like... Well, certain certain props, like I think, is it granite or something, has um, like a quite radiation. a high radiation. Can you have like, are there forks as well? You can shove it into like meats. Maybe... See if the meat is irradiated. Yeah. Is it all like ground <laughs> or earth? Yeah, I mean, I don't think you need to shove stuff into stuff. I think the, the whole it'll point is you can kind of like put it near it and is it'll detect. Enough? You'd hope so. so. It's not like a meat thermometer. You would it? Just, I, I, is, there, yeah. is there UV, like a level of UV that it would pick up? UV as well. Oh shit, Let's that get, could be interesting. So, the, so, sense advanced. so black sand beaches, of which I think Iceland may have some. Yeah. We could take, they're they radioactive as, as fuck. We could take Geiger counters there. That could be kind of fun. Hmm. I'll see if I can get us a Geiger account, guys. Try and Don't you fucking take it when the nukes well, I feel flying. like that's right? I told you the nukes were going to come, <laughs> yeah. and you're like, He oh. was right! <laughs> I feel like there's... The wind. I mean, do you feel like... Let's get high-vis as well. Let's get high-vis jackets. Wander around tourist with little... locations with Geiger counters and see what people do. <laughs> yeah. See how the people react. It's a reactionary thing. <laughs> you're safe. You're safe, ma'am. <laughs> what are they no, doing? No, Nothing's wrong here. Nothing's <laughs> yeah, here. just say nothing. We'll get hard hats. Everything on. is normal. We'll Calm hard down. Hard hats on the high vis, and we'll be clicking around the streets. They also have power generation from volcanic activity there, and I forgot the name of Hi, uh, geothermal. Geothermal. Mm -hmm. yeah. They have a geothermal factory, which sounds cool as shit, and it's all on yeah. black sand. Something like ninety percent of Iceland's energy is produced it's by cool geothermal. Go to Hinkley Point. Someone says. Hinkers? Hinkers? It's Can off I the charts here. <laughs> Plenty of leaks. I think Cause. we're dying. I think I'm actually, I'm deteriorating as I read this. <laughs> I can see my hand I aging. I just realized, I think we are actually. Oh, lost the color green. Oh. <laughs> there it goes. <laughs> just from your vision, it just, colors start to fade. <laughs> Hang on. Shit. One of the layers of color has been missing from my, 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 my vision. Fucking hell. What does Hinkley mm. have, though, at the moment? Well, there was, there was, it's dis discontinued now, the um, nuclear depends. power plant. Um, depends on the Hinkley plant. There's several, there's three. So there's Hinkley point A, B, and C. I think A's been decommissioned. B is still in operation. C is being built. It was being built by the Chinese. Ah. Not anymore. Well, yeah. Maybe. Much like all of our 5G infrastructure is going to be built by the Chinese. Yeah. And then so everyone's suddenly like, oh, Another wait, just like wait a fucking minute. This doesn't seem like a good idea. <laughs> then you see a report today where all government officials are not allowed to use TikTok. Yeah. We've banned TikTok from anyone in the government. They're easily exploited. So, if so you oh, see Matt Hancock doing this... fucking dances and shit on TikTok, you know he just doesn't give a shit. Oh, I mean, anyway. You know he doesn't give a shit. We already knew he didn't give a shit. We've seen the, we've all seen the yeah. messages. Sizewell C apparently is now being built by the French. Excellent. That's what I saw. There was a new one. Which is built. good because the French have built a shitload of them and they know um, how to do it. Mm. Awesome. What if they just kept a little button? That the remote. Remote. They say like, well, look. <laughs> English pig. You piss us off. We push button. Well, this is the implication. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yes. And that's why it was Internal absolutely nuke. nuts to let the Chinese do it. Because why can't we do it? Money? Cost. Expertise Fuck as well. Like yeah. it takes a lot of expertise Very to build and, and it, design yeah. these things. Um, yeah. Not the old ways of Britain. We built our own stuff we before. We used to go down. Coal mines. 100% British. And we yeah. go down the mine, dig up the coal, bring it back up. A few northerners die because they've been working in well, a mine, yeah. but then the house is nice and warm. Of course, Thatcher came along and that all changed. <laughs> I got me started on Thatcher. Wasn't even alive when she was around. Yeah. I thought you meant Thatcher wasn't alive when she was around. I was like, no, well, no. Jesus Christ, she never existed. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, anyway before we get too we political. Of course. Yeah. Thank you for listening to the Hat Chat podcast today. Thank I hope you. you enjoyed this. And if you enjoy it so much that you want to support us, there is always Patreon, patreon.com slash hatfilms, where you get early access to these podcasts, ad-free, like the uh, podcasting platforms inject ads into. 
Um, <laughs> or you can check us out on YouTube. Just search for the Hatchat Podcast. And uh, you can get the visual of this version. Yes. Um, but yeah, thank you very much. And we'll see you all next week. Have a great time. Bye all. Have a good week. Enjoy this from Charmandem. Thank you.